Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marital Bliss with Pastor Honoree. I have a prophetic word for someone. Someone is too ashamed to face you. Someone is too ashamed to face you. This word is coming to someone. Someone very close to you has been avoiding you. Someone very close to you have been drifting further and further apart from you. But it didn't just start. Even when they were close to you, they were somehow drifted from you. And that's why they were not genuine friends to you. That's why they are doing this because they betrayed you. They said something against you. They said something about you. They gossiped about you. They gave out information about you. They betrayed you in, in one way or another. They betrayed your trust. They betrayed your love for them. And all along, the, the reason why they still had the boldness to come around you is because they didn't know you had an idea that happened. And they just realized there is a possibility that you perceive something of that sort happened or, or you are beginning to suspect them. And they just feel so ashamed of the fact that, they, that, they, that you found out. They are not actually sorry. They are just uncomfortable because they are suspecting you already found out. That's why they are running away from you. If they truly loved and cared for you, if they were remorseful, they would have come to you to apologize and say, I made a mistake here. I betrayed you. I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to do this, but I did it. I'm sorry. So the reason why they are running away is to let you know they are not that remorseful. They are just uncomfortable with the fact that you found out or they are just suspecting that you found out. So don't bother yourself looking for them. Don't bother yourself running after them. They are going to come around. Or they leave. If they leave, then they were not supposed to be a part of, the, of your life. If they come around, then that's awesome. It means they've realized it. And if they come around and you know exactly what they did, then you've got to talk about it with them. You've got to straighten it out to ensure that such a thing doesn't happen again. And a word to, the, to a wise is that you've got to eat with them with a long spoon. Give them room until don't trust them with your life. Don't go all out for them. Once bitten, twice shy. God bless you. Shalom.